Beloved, today we gather to explore a topic that is often shrouded in silence and misunderstanding within the church, the biblical perspective of sex in marriage. In a world where sexuality is frequently distorted and misrepresented, it is crucial for us as believers to understand God's design for sexual intimacy within the covenant of marriage. Let us turn our hearts and minds to scripture as we delve into this vital subject. The first point we must recognize is that sex is a divine gift from God, intended for our enjoyment and fulfillment within the context of marriage. In Genesis chapter 1, verses 27 to 28, we read, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God he created them. Male and female he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. From the very beginning, God designed sex not only for procreation but also for pleasure and intimacy between husband and wife. This sacred act reflects God's creativity and His desire for us to experience joy in our relationships. Next, we must understand that the purpose of sexual intimacy goes beyond mere physical pleasure. In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4, we are reminded, Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled. For God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. This verse emphasizes that sexual relations within marriage should be honored as sacred. They are meant to foster deep emotional connection and spiritual unity between partners. When a husband and wife come together physically, they are not just engaging in an act. They are expressing their love, commitment, and mutual respect. Reflecting Christ's Love Through Marital Sex Furthermore, marital sex serves as a powerful metaphor for the relationship between Christ and His Church. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 31 to 32 states, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the Church. In this passage, Paul highlights that the union between husband and wife mirrors the profound love Christ has for His Church. Just as Christ sacrificed himself for us, so too should spouses prioritize each other's needs above their own desires within their sexual relationship. The Call to Mutual Giving A critical aspect of biblical sexuality is the call to mutual giving rather than selfish taking. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 3-5, to Paul instructs, The husband should give to his wife her conjugal rights, and likewise the wife to her husband. Do not deprive one another except perhaps by agreement for a limited time. This passage underscores that both partners have rights over each other's bodies, not as possessions, but as gifts meant to be shared lovingly. The focus here is on serving one another's needs with generosity rather than viewing sex merely as a means of personal gratification. Overcoming guilt through faith. Many individuals carry guilt from past experiences or societal pressures regarding sexuality. However, faith offers freedom from guilt, allowing couples to embrace their sexual relationship without shame or fear of judgment. Romans chapter 8 verse 1 assures us, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. When couples approach their marital bed with faith, acknowledging God's forgiveness, they can experience true intimacy untainted by past mistakes. As we conclude this sermon on the biblical perspective of sex and marriage, let us remember that God designed sex as a beautiful expression of love meant to strengthen our bonds with one another while reflecting His love for us through Christ Jesus. May we honor our marriages by embracing this divine gift with gratitude, joy, and reverence. Let us pray together now that God would bless our marriages with deeper intimacy rooted in His truth. Thank you for watching, and please leave a comment and any question that you have.